I usually do grease pencil tutorials, but as 2D animators, why should we limit ourselves to grease pencil if there are other ways to do 2D animation inside Blender and that may be better? In a previous video, we did a demo with shape keys and I said that we could create hybrid 2D characters that use both mesh and grease pencil. We may even be able to do it with no grease pencil at all. In this tutorial, we'll create a low poly 2D mouth, add procedural tongue and teeth, rig it and finally wrap it around a 3D head. It is based on Citroen's 2D face rig tutorial and its goal is to make the mouth easier to make, simpler to animate and replace external textures with procedural material. If you want the final product, you can get it for $4 to support the free content on this channel. It's on my Gumroad along with other files, some free and some paid, that all are connected to free tutorials here on YouTube. So let's start by adding a plane. Let's go to edit mode, R, X, 90 degrees. Hit one on the numpad to face our plane and then SX to make a rectangle like this. Now you hit two on the top left of your keyboard or you just go here and select the edges, select mode and you select these two edges, the upper one and the lower one. Now we subdivide. This way we don't subdivide these two edges. We don't make like a grid, but we only make vertical lines. We need three vertical lines. So we change this to two and then three. We go back to vertex, select mode. And we select these two vertices and hit M and do collapse to change these two vertices into one, to merge them into one. And then we select these two and then M again and collapse. To make it more like a low poly oval, we select these two vertices and then shift select these two, S to resize, then Z and like this. And we have this shape. Now we can move them a little bit maybe to the sides. So we hit S again and X and like this. So maybe you just want a simple mouth, just a unified colored mouth. And you don't need a tongue and teeth and this is all the shape you will need but we will want to have some kind of contour like lips and then we want to add teeth and a tongue inside that's why we'll select everything with a and hit i to inset and create the lips now we will create our materials Let's create a first material. Let's give it a black color. Let's go to this mode to be able to see it and name it lips. And now we want a material for the inside of the mouth. So add a new material here, new again. We name it inside and we hit assign to assign it to these faces here that are selected. So assign, let's keep it white for now to demonstrate something. If we add the subdivision surface modifier, we can make the level to two or three. Three seems a good level for me. So let's make a three in the viewport and three in render. And you see we have this oval and we have the lips, but they are too wide. So to confine them in this area, we need to add more inset. We still have these center vertices selected. So we hit I again and inset just a little bit. Very nice. And now we have our lips defined. So now if we hit three on the top left of the keyboard, face select, we see that we have these faces that use the inside material and also these new faces that we just created. And these faces in the edge use the other material, the lips material. This is it. Our shape is done and now we can start shading and creating the inside of the mouth material. So we go to the shading panel, we hit one on the keyboard, we zoom in and let's create the tongue. To create the tongue, we will make a circle. To make a circle, we will need either a bunch of math nodes or there is an easier way to do it. Shift A and S to search for vector math and we bring in this node here it's called a vector math node shift a again and s search for coo for coordinate a texture coordinate node and we will connect the object to the vector and we change the add to length 
and then let's connect this value here to the base color and we have this faded circle here let's go to object mode we can add a color ramp to make it a solid circle shift a again s and search for ramp and we put the color ramp here it looks the same but let's change linear to constant and now we have this solid circle we can move then the slider like this and surprise what's this it's an eye so this gives me an idea that i can use the same method to create a 2d eye for my characters keep that in mind and note it you may need it in the future so let's change the colors we need black in the background and we need a red tongue just flip these two sliders and change the white slider to red a little dark red and now we have our tongue and to control it we will need an object if you use driver before you can control a driver with an armature and then you choose a bone inside the armature to control your driver sadly in the texture coordinate you will be able to choose an object but you can choose a bone inside an armature so that's why we need to add an empty to control this shader here and then we will need to parent that empty to our armature that we will create later so let's create an empty shift a empty and a simple empty here let's resize it with s and then do Control a to apply our scale now we select the mouth again that looks like an eye like a sharing gun i think i'm gonna rename the empty first empty tongue and now let's select it from this menu empty tongue and now if you select the empty and move it you can move the circle this is it we have our tongue and the control for it let's add our teeth so shift a again search type in separate we need this one and then we add another color ramp so what this node does is separating the x and y and z dimensions and we will render them as a gradient so z will be like black in the bottom and white in the top so there's a gradient a horizontal gradient but we will first add a texture coordinate node we put it here we connect the object to the vector the z to the fag here and temporarily we will plug this here to the base and we see we have this gradient here of course we change again from linear to constant and we have where are our teeth oh we need to move the slider so here are our upper teeth now we need an empty to control these teeth so let's just duplicate this one shift t move it here f2 to rename it to empty teeth top and then let's duplicate it again shift t hit z to move it just on the z axis and let's name it to empty teeth bot let's select our mouth again and here we choose empty teeth top our setup is working but i just want this line to be on top of this line here so what i'm going to do is add another node the mapping node and we plug it here and we'll change this z value here just left click and move hit shift to make your movements more precise and we make this line on top of the other line now we will mix these two we add of course a mix rgb node let's put it here let's put this in the top and this one will go to the bottom you see we already have a mix but it's like the teeth are on top and then they fade and the tongue is showing but we don't want that so we'll plug the alpha to the fog here and then we select the slider the black slider we go here and change the alpha to zero and voila very nice select our object again and now we add the bottom teeth and that's the easiest part here let's move these two a little bit and then we select these four and duplicate them shift t let's duplicate the mix rgb node too so shift t let's plug this guy here and let's plug the alpha here we see nothing because we have two versions of the top teeth and also we have the same object controlling the coordinates so we change from empty teeth top to empty teeth bot then we flip these two sliders the white and the black and now we have lower teeth and i think we are done just adjust it a little bit to have this line be with the line of our empty now we test with 
the other empty and voila now we start again so we are in object mode let's disable our subdivision modifier to be able to see our corners and add an armature single bone let's go to edit mode and let's move this bone select it and move it with g z let's put it in the inside corner here i don't want to put it here because when we re-enable our subdivision modifier, the mouth will get smaller and I don't want my bone to be outside the mouth. So again, G, Z and move it here to the inside corner. Let's hit F2 and name it Control C, T, R, L dot top and enter. Now we duplicate this bone. I want it to be horizontal here. So R and then Y and then 90 degrees and let's move it to this corner here F2 rename it to control dot stop dot L that is for left dot L is important because we will use it when we symmetrize our left bones so shift D again move this one to this corner here and let's enable the grid here so we can see the corner nice i want these bars here to be on the zero on the z zero so let's hit n and change the z here to zero and again in the tail to zero nice hit n again to hide this menu f2 to rename this to control dot left and this is it shift d again duplicate it put it here control bot dot left this time we duplicate this one so shift d hit z to move it like this and then we will flip it so r y 180 degrees g z and move it to this corner here f2 control bot enter i forgot to mention that we have deform enabled for all these bones because these bones will deform our mesh and now we select these three bones and go to armature symmetrize and we have the opposite bones on the other side and with the dot r in the end of their names and now we will add the bones that will control the tongue and the teeth so let's duplicate this one on top of the empty as you can see we will disable the form because this one won't deform the mesh shift d to duplicate it z to move it on the z axis only so let's rename them the first one teeth top and the second one to teeth bot now let's duplicate this one put it here and name it just tongue enter don't forget to disable the form so in this one this one and this one now we will add a root bone to make our life easier later so shift D, Z, move it like this and then i think i'm gonna rotate it hit three here so r x 90 degrees no r x minus 90 degrees let's move it here let's make it bigger g y and like this let's name it root let's hit one on the keyboard and now we can parent all the bones to our root bone so select all the bones except the root bone and then shift select the root bone and control p make parent but keep offset voila now if you go to pose mode control tab you can move your armature like this and you can resize it you can do like sx to resize it only on the x-axis you can rotate your mouth of course so this will make animation easier instead of going back to object mode and move the whole thing or instead of selecting all these bones and resizing them don't forget to disable the form for your root bone too so this is our bone structure let's go to object mode and let's connect our mouth to our armature so select the mouth shift select the armature Control p parent with empty groups now we select our mouth if you go here to object data properties we have our groups populated and the vertex groups and groups were added only for the deform bones okay so let's go to edit mode and we will assign vertices to each group so first we select vertices select mode with one on the keyboard or here we select these just three vertices here on the top and hit assign while selecting the control top vertex group so hit assign and then we select these two and then control top left assign 
Let's select this group, control left. We select these three vertices, assign, and then control bot R, select these, and then assign. We could have went to weight paint and do weight painting, but this was easier. So now if we check our groups, we see that the weight paint was done very easily and very neatly let's go back to object mode select our armature we go to pose mode let's uncheck lock object modes select our mouth enable the subdivision modifier and test again our armature everything seems to work but there is some weird look here let's disable overlay and you see that we have these corners here well you may want to have this look but why isn't there a smooth curve here and here let's enable overlays again select the mouth that's because of the orderings of these modifiers the armature should be above the subdivision so that after the armature moved the vertices the subdivision modifier kicks in and smooths everything so let's put this on top and now magically we have the smooth movements of the mouth now there is one more thing to do to make our armature even better let's select every bone a and then alt g alt r alt s to bring everything back to its original position and now i want to add some bone constraints so to add a constraint to this one we need to select it last select this one and then shift select this bone Control shift c and add a copy location constraint now we go here to bone constraints properties we change here word space to local space and here to local space so now if we move this bone you see that this bone copies the movement of my bone here it copies it 100 percent select it again but if we change it to 0.5 it will now move but only partly and that will create some organic movement a beautiful organic movement and also it will have another benefit so if we change back to one and try to move this bone we can't but if you change it to 0.5 we can move it and control it with this bone and we also can have some independent movement and have flexible animation for our mouth now we want the same constraint to be in this bone so we select this bone and then shift select this one and then we go to this arrow here and copy the constraint to select it let's test them now let's do the same on the opposite side we select this bone and then shift select this one Control shift c copy location we change this to a local space local space 0.5 and we select this bone shift select this bone copy to select it and we have all this flexibility which is very nice and there is more magic to this if you go here and hit this x here to mirror your bone movement and select this bone and move it you can have a smile very very easily and you can have this effect too the surprised effect how beautiful is that what remains now is to make these bones control the teeth and the tongue so we select the empty and then shift select this bone we do control p and we choose bone from this menu now we do the same with this empty i think i'm gonna just deselect everything and then select my empty again shift select this bone so that we have only this bone selected control p bone and then we deselect again select this empty shift select this bone control p bone now we test g this moves the tongue this can resize the tongue too and this moves the teeth and this one also can move the teeth so this is it i guess now all we have to do is to stick this mouth to a face so here in object mode let's create a uv sphere let's hit three on the keyboard let's move it a little bit g y s resize this guy three again and move it maybe here and now we select our mouth and we add a shrink wrap modifier we select our uv sphere 
and voila we have this mess here so we'll change some settings in the wrap method we change this to target normal project in snap mode from on surface to outside surface and then the offset we change it to 0 0.005 and now we have this i think i'm gonna add a subdivision modifier with the level of one it seems enough let's also shade smooth it let's also shade smooth our mouth let's select our armature and go to pose mode i can't see my tongue here so let's move this bone up and you can see that it's small and then it gets bigger to reduce this issue here you need to make your object closer to your bone here so let's select our sphere again move it gy and move it like this here maybe and then let's hit one again select our armature go here viewport display and enable this in front so we can see all the bone even if they are inside the ball so now if you move your tongue you can yeah it doesn't shrink too much one last thing we can do for the shading of the mouth i think we don't need the mouth to be this reflective so let's go to the material panel here and change the specular to zero here and in the lips material to zero and we're done i think it looks better like this we want this guy to be black so that it gives us the illusion that there is a hole inside the mouth another issue if we hit one again go back to pose mode so if we try to close the mouth like this you see that we can see some tongue and some teeth here since we have black strokes black outline we can move the tongue and the teeth bone also and have only black and this way the mouth looks closed but if you have red lips and then you have a black inside you won't be able to close your mouth but there is a trick you can do so let's select the mouth let's go to the lips and let's change their color to red we go to the shading panel we can select our inside material here you can add this setup here you can duplicate it and add another mix rgb here a third one you add it here you connect just we connected these ones here and instead of white you will have the color of your lips here red let's copy it Control c back here and do Control v okay let's suppose this is the shader that we added here and then you bring in the bone that will control that new shader and put it up like this and now you have the illusion of a closed mouth so i guess this is our tutorial this is the end of it thank you for watching and see you in another video peace